Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement, Dano Dungeon. Okay, so today we are actually doing a bonus video on a Sunday. I normally don't upload a video on Zen Safari on a Sunday because it is actually my rest day, okay? But I think, you know, we have a figure which I've just got from um, Takara Tomi. This is actually a lion figure, okay? So I thought, you know, we have this figure. I'm pretty excited to actually add this to my collection. So what we are going to do today is to review this beautiful figure we haven't seen this wildcats book for quite some time we got this um at least a year ago i kind of like lost it but you know i've actually found it and um what we're gonna do is basically to take a look at this book as well as looking through our wildcats and big cats collection okay so it's gonna be exciting let's get right into it all right first let's take a look at this lion figure um i got this from my local toys r us yes toys r us is still opened in my country so we have to get this figure out it looks very cool all right let's cut the strings loose and um there are two more strings right here plenty of strings to be honest there's still one which is um tying to the legs one more right here hopefully i don't cut the lion it's kind of hard okay i'm gonna use this direction yep there we go i think the figure should be released from the box right now so let's get this out oh there's still one more right in the middle okay so let's just cut the last one there you go so what do we have right here okay firstly let's take a look at the box it's basically in japanese so i'm not able to tell you every single uh, meaning okay you're basically able to find a beautiful illustration this is actually from this which is known as the um you know animal um expedition set i would say okay so this is basically leoning I think they're, they're going to be releasing more of these um, figures. It looks very cool, it looks very heavy. And there's a button right here. And um, it's able to move the head. The jaw can be moved as well. The legs can be moved. Oh, there's actually like um, a kind of, um, you know, different notches inside the leg for the hind leg as well. Very cool. Okay, so let's now try and uh, the, uh, the tail can be moved as well. Let's try to press the button. Okay, there's no sounds, which I'm quite surprised because I was, I was thinking there should be some sounds. Okay, let's see. What else we've got over here? Try me. And what about the tail? Okay, so the tail is basically you have to move it manually. Okay, I thought, you know, it's supposed to have like sounds and stuff. Okay, you're able to move the legs like this maybe you can pose it into different poses okay kind of um underwhelming i would say but still beautiful you know i love the color scheme of this lion it looks pretty pretty good i must say okay so what we are going to do is place this one right here oops and um now let's have a look at this wildcat book so I got this book from a bookstore a couple of years back. So it comes with a little booklet. So let's have a read and we'll try to find the um, respective big cat, okay? So first, we have a lion. So this is basically a lion. This one seems to be... Oh, it's actually... Cougars are often referred to as pumas or mountain lions depending on where they live. I didn't know that native to america so i think we should have a couple of uh, mountain lions so it's very hard for me to find them okay this is perhaps one of it yeah i think so mountain lion so this is actually it can be called a cougar or a puma so we have our first puma of the day very nice let's move on so you can see these are basically lioness and their cops super adorable Okay, and this one is, uh, it looks like a lynx, but it's actually a caracal. I've never heard of it before, and there's also a clouded leopard. We definitely have some clouded leopards in our collection. So what I'm going to do is, um, just going to pour all the figures out. It's going to be loud, I think, but I'm trying to pour it as gently as possible. Okay, these figures are tough, so I'm not 
too worried about you know, them getting scratches and stuff. I think it's um, they should be fine. Okay, let's have a look at this. So this is a clotted leopard, guys. A beautiful figure from where? Where is this from? Safari Ltd, I think. So let's read this. Clotted leopards give birth to a little of between one and five cups every year. The cups stay with their mom for about ten months. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put this one over here. Um, here's a lion figure from Schleck. We have a couple of lions. So I'm gonna put them back into the box and I'll try to reorganize them um, as neatly as possible. Here's another lion, beautiful one. Okay, let's try to find a tiger cup. There you go. No, this is actually a cheetah cup. It's not a tiger cup. Okay, lioness. We have a lioness right here. Beautiful. Okay, we move on to the next page. So now we have a tiger. Tigers have, no, have been known to live for 26 years, but often survive for only 10 to 12. They are solitary creatures except when the mothers are raising their carbs. So this is a tiger. So I got this from um, Toys R Us as well. Not the best looking. It's not very well detailed, you can see. It feels um, kind of like, um, um, you know, uh, it doesn't feel premium enough, I would say. And here's another beautiful tiger. If I'm not wrong, this it's a Bengal tiger. Yep, Bengal tiger. I have seen videos of um tiger versus lions, and lion seems to be the braver among the two. Yep, here's another tiger figure. Okay, what is this? This one seems to be a mountain lion as well. Yep, mountain lion. So just now, okay, this one is the one that I've shown you guys. Was it? Let me see. Um, I don't think so. I think we should have another. Mountain lion. I'm gonna put a mountain lion over here. Okay, now let's move on. Female cheetahs travel great distances to find a mate. One litter of cubs may have several fathers. Okay, so here is a cheetah cub. Beautiful. And here, what is this? Lioness. This goes back to the um, first page. So, lioness right here. Let's see what else we've got. Here's a beautiful cheetah. Let's flip to the next page to see whether there are more. Figures, information, tiger, we have a lion, and this one is a lynx. We do have a lynx as well. This is the lynx right here. Is this a lynx? Yep, that's right. This is the exact lynx figure. The, Can the Canadian lynx has large paws that act like snowshoes to help it hunt in deep snow. Beautiful. Lynx. And here's another cheetah. Cheetah is basically the fastest land animal. Um, and this figure is actually from Collecte. Beautiful. It actually states King Cheetah. And what do we have right here? The Black Panthers are rare and so hard to spot that some of them call, that some people call them the ghost of the forest. So this is a Black Panther. This one is not one of my favorite one. My favorite one is, has got to be this one. This one is really beautiful. It's from Papo. Yep. I have another good one right here. This one is actually from um, Safari LTD. Really beautiful one. I have another one which is um, awesome looking as well. This is from Peppo. It is, um, you know, if you compare it with the, the previous one, it's actually very different. This one is from Peppo as well. I'm um, sorry, this is actually from Collecte. 2008 Pro Configure and this one is from Peppo. Both of them looks like they are about to pounce on some prey. Really beautiful. And here's another one, another really beautiful one. And they basically named this as African Leopard. So it may not be the same species, I suppose. And here's another one, which is another Black Panther from Safari LTD. Beautiful, really beautiful. Let's flip to the next page. So you can see um, the lions are hunting a herd of zebras. zebras. So lions hunt zebra, antelope, wildebeest, gazelles, and warthogs, as well as other animals. Beautiful. So let's have a look at another lion figure. <laughs> this one is one of the um, Toys R Us lion figure. I think it's it's pretty cute. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna try to. I'm not too sure whether my box it's able to fit. You know the other large lion. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Plus it's really huge. I'm definitely need to expand my collection and I need more boxes. Um, I'm running out of space to actually store the boxes as well. So we'll see about that. Let's see, let's move on to the next one. Save the cats! Habitat loss 
Illegal wildlife trade and declining prey are just some of the reasons why many wildcat species are endangered or vulnerable. And what do we have right here? I think this is a jaguar. Jaguars are losing their habitat to deforestation and agricultural activities. They have become extinct in some countries despite efforts to protect them. Populations continue to decline. Okay, so jaguar. This one is a jaguar, right? I think so. It's a leopard. It's a leopard. It's not a jaguar. So I, th I think we should have a jaguar. I think this is the one. African leopard again. They're different, if I'm not wrong. Let's try to find another jaguar. I think this this is the one. We only have one jaguar in our collection. 2015 Safari LTD Jaguar. Beautiful. I'm actually putting it um, close to the um, different leopards. And what do we have right here? The snow leopard is listed as a vulnerable species partly due to illegal hunting and trade. Um, trade. Um, so we have two snow leopards right here. This one is from Papo, I think. Beautiful. You can see the snow leopard has a very long tail, much longer than the rest. And it's, um, the fur is actually very thick to keep them warm in the snowy temperatures. Snow leopard adult from Safari LTD 2003 figure, 20 years old this figure it is. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's um, have a look at another lion. This one was actually sent to us by a Den Safarian and this is actually a, a really beautiful Safari LTD lion. So you can see the mane of the lion actually flows to the bottom of the body. This is not a good representation. I think this one from Papo is the best one. So you can see they've actually sculpted and painted the fur. I mean the mane all the way from the top of the head to the bottom of the body. I think this one is very accurate looking, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Fishing cats live in wetland areas of Southeast Asia. They are severely threatened in the natural range as wetlands are drained for agriculture or polluted by industry. Fishing cats, what are the fishing cats? I, I, I'm not too sure. Kingdom cat, you know, you have two lions right here. This one is a Florida panther. Um, I don't think my Florida panther is in this box because I've actually placed it in the jumbo box. Okay, in Australia, the feral cat population is threatening many vulnerable species. Early settlers introduced cats to control pests, but they are now upsetting the natural balance. Oh dear. Okay, and now we have the black panther again. We have another one right here. Okay, this one is actually from a budget pack. So any wild cat with a black coat may be referred to as a panther. There are 14 species of wild cat in which Mentalism occurs. Mentalism is an increased amount of black pigmentation in skin, feathers, fur, or hair. So black panthers could be a leopard. It could be a jaguar as well. All right. So black panthers has black fur, but the spots are still there. Some people call this ghost stripping. Beautiful. A black panther in Asia or Africa is likely a mentalistic leopard. In the Americas, it is most often refers to a mentalistic jaguar. Beautiful. So I've now finally, you know, got this clarified because I, you know, I was always thinking, you know, is a black panther, a jaguar or a leopard. So they can be both. Nice. Okay. And this book actually comes with some minifigures. So you can see this is a really beautiful black panther. We have um, a tiger, which could be a Bengal tiger or a Siberian tiger. And this one is definitely a cheetah. You can see it's very slender. The figures are not very well detailed. You can see the face look kind of um, dorky to me, okay? And this is a lion. The eyes are actually quite badly painted, I would say. But, you know, it's a, you know it's some free figure, so I don't expect much. So now let's see whether we, there are more Black Panthers. There's one more right here. So it could be a Jaguar. Based on the body, it looks like it is a Jaguar, but, you know, you never know. And here's a Black Panther cop. Let's move on. And now we are moving on to cheetahs. Yes, this is the, um, a cheetah right here. You can see their body are very slender. They basically use speed to capture the, the prey. They're very small, so they, they can't. Sometimes, you know, after catching their prey, hyenas will actually snatch their, 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 their hunt away. The cheetah is the world's fastest land animal, able to attain speeds of over 70 miles per hour. Wild populations are found mostly in eastern and west and southwestern Africa. They have an average lifespan in the wild of 10 to 12 years. Pretty cool. 
10 to 12 years, okay, in the wild. And here's another one which is in full speed, as you guys can see, okay? So check this out. So cheetahs have distinctive black lines on their faces that curve from the inner corner of each eye to the outer corners of the mouth. So that's the curve. You guys can see from um, this figure as well. You can see the body is extremely slender, which is why they're able to run so fast. Male cheetahs hunt and live together in groups made up of two or three males that are often siblings. This is referred to as a collision. Very nice, very very nice. And let's see whether we have more cheetahs. I think this one is also a cheetah, but it's not a very um, accurate looking cheetah, I must say. Let's see whether we have more cheetahs right here. I don't think so. I think that's the end. Oh, we do have, um, it looks like a panther. It looks like a mountain lion, but it's actually a lioness. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Let's move on to the next page. Lions are the second largest cats in the world after tigers. New African lions may grow to be 10 feet long with a 2 to 3 foot tail that, and weigh over 500 pounds. Females are slightly smaller. Very nice. Here's another lion. Beautiful one from Schleck. I think this is quite nicely done as well. You can see the mane flowing to the bottom of the body. Very, very well detailed. The face looks great. The paint scheme looks fantastic as well. I love it. And here we have two white lions, guys. Okay, and um, one is from Collecte and the other one is actually from Peppo. I think both look very nice. I would say the Peppo one looks better, but you can see the paint is like coming off. Yep, white lions. Beautiful, very, very beautiful. Love it. Okay, and here we have a little lion cup. Super adorable. And here we have um, a lion from, is this from PNSO or from Recur? I think it's from Recur. Very small little figure, but looks pretty good, I must say. Okay, let's see what else we've got over here. Female lions do most of the hunting for the pride. By hunting down, they are able to bring down animals that are larger and faster than they are. Awesome. Do we have more female lions? Yep, lioness right here. This one is from, I have no idea which, which company made this. Any more female lions? Yep, another one which is holding on to the um, lion cop. You, you know, you might think this might be hurting the lion carp, but this is actually the right way to carry their young. They basically grab it from, um, you know, the scarf of, um, this is the scarf of the skin. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We are on to the last page, I think. Now we are on to tiger. Tigers are the largest animals in the cat family. They need a large area to roam and hunt for food. They may cover 20 miles or more in one night while searching for prey. Tigers can eat as much as 75 pounds of meat at one meal. That is quite a lot of um, food. And here we have a really beautiful one from Collecte. Beautiful, beautiful tiger. Um, we have a mini tiger carp. White tiger carp. Bengal tiger carp to be exact. Extremely um, adorable. Okay, right here we have... Um, okay, what is this? It looks like a cervelle, I think. Is this a cervelle? Yeah, that's right. It's not a big cat, it's basically a wild cat. Let's see what else we've got. And here we have another wild cat as well. This is basically a uh, bobcat. They're pretty small in size as compared to like the tigers and stuff. And here we have a cheetah cup. Super adorable. And another lynx. We have two of the same figures. Yep, so lynx, cervelle, bobcat, they are all wild cats. And here we have another one. Okay, a tiger. Yeah, I'm trying to fit all of the figures into the box. So we have to optimize every single space. Yep, that's right. What is this? This is probably a bobcat. Not exactly sure. It could be. And this is the king cheetah. Fastest land animal, 70 miles per hour, which I think is roughly about 120, uh, 120 kilometers per hour. This is a leopard, I think. Beautiful. Um, a white tiger. This is actually one of my childhood toy, I think. Yeah, it's from Bully Land. We, we, I got this very, very long time ago. Very, very long. And here we have um, a leopard cop. Super cute. Leopard, let's try it. 
And this one is a really beautiful figure. I think it was sent to us by uh, Jonathan, I think, from you know one of our Den Safarians. Beautiful. And this is a mountain lion. We definitely need to find a few more mountain lions. I think right now we only have like two mountain lions in our collection. So hopefully I'm able to expand the collection soon. Here's a tiger. And here's another one. Okay. We have just a few more figures right here. This one I'm probably not put into, th into this box because it's very big. And here we have a very beautiful white tiger. So white tigers, they are basically, they have a certain deficiency in their pigmentation, which is why, you know, they have blue eyes and they have pink nose. Yep. It's sort of like a deficiency, but you know, it, it looks very um, exotic, I would say. So a lot of zoos, they like to, um, you know, display white tigers. And here we have a lion from um, PNSO, decent figure. I wouldn't say it's a very nice figure, but it's it's pretty decent. Okay, Black Panther, and here we have um, the last one, which is an Amor Leopard. I'm not too sure whether I got a pronunciation right, but yeah, A M U R. Okay, and a little tiger cup right here. Awesome. So this is basically the book. You know, we haven't seen this book for quite some time. I actually put it in uh, one of our one of my cabinets, and I've totally forgotten about it. So what I did is that I got all the books out. Okay, well, let me just show you guys in a while. I basically got all the books out, and I'm displaying them right over here. So all my books are over here. So sometimes when we do, um, like different different animals collection we can actually use one of the books yeah i know that you guys actually enjoy reading some facts you know while taking a look at my collection okay thanks for watching this i will see you guys in the next one let me know down below you know i'll probably upload another video tomorrow as well let me know down below what other animals collection video you guys want me to make i'll be happy to do it okay thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye